So hi there students, welcome back to another video lesson. So after natin i-discuss yung rectangular coordinate system and then yung linear equation in two variables, for this uh, video lesson, so ito na po yung last part ng ating uh, lesson for week 5. So we will be illustrating the slope of a line. So let's start. So the lesson objectives are to define and illustrate the slope of a line, identify the types of slope of a line, and determine the slope of a line through graphs, two points, and equations. Let's take a look. This is Mount Mayon. So Mount Mayon is one of the most beautiful sceneries in the Philippines. It is known for its almost symmetrical conical shape. So yung Mount Mayon po matatagpuan po siya sa Bicol region. Okay? So how can we determine the slope of a line using this figure? So, ayan po, yung red portion, yung red line na din drawing. So, that is what we call slope. A line can be described through its steepness or slope. Pag sinabi po natin slope, kung gano'n po katarik. Okay. So, in mathematics, slope is denoted by M. So, how to calculate the slope of a line? The slope of a line M is calculated by getting the quotient of rise and run. So, what do you mean by rise and run? Rise refers to the vertical change. So, as you can see sa picture, yung rise, yung vertical, patayo. And then, when we say run naman, it refers to the horizontal change, yung pahiga. Okay. So, para mas maintindihan nyo yung slope of a line, so, let's have this one. Find the slope of line A. Okay, so again, pag rise po, yun po yung vertical change. And then, horizontal change naman is yung run. So, mag start tayo dito sa uh, rise and then run. So, from 1, 1, mag start tayo going up. So, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Next, yung run naman, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, i-record natin yon. So, M is equal to rise over run. So, based dun sa binilang natin kanina, yung rise is 3. And then, yung run naman is 4. Therefore, the slope of the line A is 3 fourths. So, let's have the next example. Find the slope of line B. So, yung rise natin dito, bis na pataas, in opposite direction siya. So, magiging pababa. So, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. And then, yung run naman natin, 1, 2. So, i-record ulit natin. So, slope is equal to rise over run. So, yung rise natin kanina is negative 4. And then, yung run naman natin is 2. So, negative 4 divided by 2. So, our slope is negative 2. So, there are different types of slopes. So, yung una po is positive slope, increasing from left to right. So, pataas, uphill. And then, negative slope naman, decreasing from left to right, pababa, downhill. And then, zero slope, yung graph niya is horizontal line lang, pahiga. Not increasing or decreasing from left to right. Kapag vertical line naman, that's the time na undefined slope. Line does not move to the left or right. So, finding slope using two points. To find the slope using two points, so yung P sub 1 has coordinates X sub 1 and Y sub 1. And P sub 2 has coordinates X sub 2, Y sub 2. Use the formula below. So, ito po yung formula for slope using two points. M stands for slope is equal to the difference between Y sub 2 and Y sub 1 all over the difference of X sub 2 and X sub 1. So, let's have example number 1. Find the slope of A whose coordinates are 3, 5 and B whose coordinates are 8 and 10. So, i-label lang natin yung x sub 1, yung coordinates ng a, tsaka y sub 1. Yung b naman, x sub 2, tsaka y sub 2. Para mas madali pong i-substitute. 
So we write the formula for the slope using two points. m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So y sub 2 is 10 and then y sub 1 is 5 all over the value of x sub 2 is 8 and then x sub 1 is 3. Next, 10 minus 5 that is 5 and then 8 minus 3 that is 5. So we rewrite m is equal to 5 divided by 5, that is 1. So the slope of a and b is 1, and 1 is a positive slope. So kapag ginrap po natin yung points a and b, positive slope po siya. So yung uh, graph po ng line, okay, positive slope. Number 2. Identify the slope of C whose coordinates are 0, 3, and D whose coordinates are negative 6 and 5. So, yung C, X sub 1, and Y sub 1. Yung D naman, X sub 2, Y sub 2. M is equal to Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 all over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. So, what is Y sub 2? That is 5 minus y sub 1, that is 3, all over x sub 2, that is negative 6, minus x sub 1, which is 0. Next, 5 minus 3, that is 2, over negative 6 minus 0, that is negative 6. So, we rewrite m is equal to negative 2 over 6. So, we simplify negative 2 over 6. That is, m is equal to negative one-third. As you can see, yung nakuha po nating slope is negative. So, kung i-grab po natin yung line, meron po siyang negative slope. So, let's have example number 3. Solve for the slope of j whose coordinates are negative 1 and 5, and k whose coordinates are negative 1 and 2. So, label lang natin x sub 1 y sub 1, and then x sub 2, y sub 2. So, we write the formula for the slope. So, m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, y sub 2 is 2 minus y sub 1, that is 5, all over x sub 2 is negative 1 minus x sub 1, that is negative 1. Next, 2 minus 5, that is negative 3, all over negative 1 minus negative 1. So, negative 1 will become uh, positive 1 and then magiging plus. So, plus 1. So, rewrite lang natin. M is equal to negative 3 over negative 1 plus 1, that is 0. And then we cannot divide any number by 0 because the answer is undefined. So yung slope po natin dito is undefined. So let's have example number 4. Solve for the slope of P whose coordinates are 4 and 9 and Q whose coordinates are 2 and 9. So, label lang natin, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. And then we write the formula for the slope using two points. m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, y sub 2 is 9 and then y sub 1 is 9. x sub 2 is 2 and then x sub 1 is 4. We subtract 9 minus 9, that is 0, over 2 minus 4, that is negative 2. Now, 0 divided by negative 2, that is 0. So, meaning, yung slope po natin dito is 0. So, we cannot divide number z uh, 0 by any number because the answer is 
0. So, kung i-graph po natin yung P and Q na yan, points P and Q, 0 slope po. Ibig sabihin, horizontal line lang po. So, I have an additional question. The slope of M whose coordinates are A and 3 and N whose coordinates are 5 and negative 7 is negative 5 over 3. Find the value of A. So, based on sa problem natin, given na yung slope, so, ang hahanapin lang natin yung isa sa mga coordinates ng M. So, yung coordinates ng M ang mga magsisilbing X sub 1 tsaka Y sub 1. And then, yung coordinates naman ng N ang magsisilbing X sub 2 tsaka Y sub 2. So, paano yon? Sulat natin yung formula. M is equal to Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1 all over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. And then, substitute lahat natin ng mga uh, given. So, yung slope natin is negative 5 over 3 equals y sub 2, that is negative 7, minus y sub 1, 3. All over x sub 2, that is 5, minus x sub 2, so ay, minus x sub 1, itong nawawala natin, so sulat natin as a. And then, yung gagawin natin next is cross multiply. So, ang mangyayari, negative 5 times the quantity 5 minus A equals 3 times negative 7 minus 3. So, i-rewrite lang natin. So, negative 5 times 5 minus A equals 3 times Negative 7 minus 3, that is negative 10. Okay, next. I-distribute natin yung negative 5 sa 5 minus A, magiging negative 5 times 5, that is negative 25. Negative 5 times negative A, that is positive 5A. Equals 3 times negative 10, that is negative 30. Next, 5A is equal to negative 30 and then negative 25 i-lipat natin sa right side magiging positive 25. Next, 5a is equal to negative 30 plus 25 that is negative 5. Then we divide the whole equation by 5. So the value of a is negative 1. So to check, Okay, so m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, yung given slope po natin is negative 5 over 3. Equals, yung y sub 2 po natin is negative 7. Yung y sub 1 natin is 3. So, minus 3. All over x sub 2, that is 5. Minus the value of a, which is negative 1. So, magiging 5 minus negative 1. Next, negative 5 over 3 equals negative 7 minus 3, that is negative 10. All over 5 minus negative 1, that will become 5 plus 1. Okay, next, negative 5 over 3 equals negative 10 over 5 plus 1 is 6. So, negative 10 over 6 can be simplified as negative 5 over 3. So, ibig sabihin, yung value po natin na a equals negative 1 ay tama. So, we can also find slope using an equation. If a linear equation is written in slope-intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b, Slope can be determined which is the coefficient of x, yung m po. Okay. So, let's have examples. Number 1, y is equal to 3x minus 7. So, yung coefficient po ng x dito is 3. Okay. So, therefore, the slope of this equation is 3. So, ganun lang po siya kadali. Next, y is equal to negative 8x plus 11. So, yung coefficient po ng x dito is negative 8. Therefore, the slope of the given equation is 
negative 8. What about number 3? y is equal to 1 fourth x plus 3. So again, the coefficient of x here is 1 fourth. Therefore, the slope of the given equation is 1 fourth. Next, y is equal to negative 3 half x minus 9 over 2. So the coefficient of x is negative 3 over 2. So therefore, the slope of the given equation is negative 3 over 2. So after nothing discuss yung slope of a line using a graph, using the formula, yung two points, and then yung using an equation. So our next lesson will be writing equation in standard form to slope intercept form and vice versa. So, na-introduce na sa inyo yung standard form as well as yung slope-intercept form. So, ita-transform natin yung mga equation from standard form to slope-intercept form and from slope-intercept form to standard form. So, abangan nyo yan sa susunod nating video lesson. So, yun lang. Maraming salamat.